。我是您曾经在过去的访问当中有提到哦，说这一次疫情对于全球的公共卫生来说是一记警钟，好像帮大家都上了一课。所以您可以帮我们做一个总结嘛？就从二零二零年的年底一直到今年二零二一年一整年，我们看到这个疫情在这全球造成了这么广泛的影响。我们到底学到了些什么样的教训呢？呃、uh, ，I、uh, of course we learn a lot scientifically about、uh, these viruses, and we learn a lot about how quickly we could develop te- technology、uh, to come up with drugs and antibodies and vaccines.、Uh, the speed with which all of these things have been developed over the over the last eighteen months is truly unprecedented. And truly amazing.、Uh, I think the overall lesson, particularly from the Taiwan perspective,、uh, is I think Taiwan was experienced after SARS in 2002-2003, and that prepared、uh, the、uh, the country well to respond to COVID. And、uh, and the the lesson I would say is.、Uh, Do not rest on that early success.、Uh, anticipate what science、uh, will offer, and that's why I said earlier the perspective in 2020 is different from that of 2021. And I think,、uh, in retrospect, now if we look back,、uh, what could Taiwan do better? Well, I would say, be an earlier adopter of vaccines.、Um, Uh, in the same way that、uh, Israel has done, for example,、uh, I think Taiwan was relatively speaking slow in doing so, and 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 therefore now it will have to be slower in opening up.、Um, you know, I I think Taiwan, like Israel, has a great deal of purchasing power, and could have one way or another been more aggressive in going back. So that's one lesson that that I certainly、uh, took away from 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 these observations. I would say that、um, we we still need to、uh, continue to invest in pandemic preparedness. There will be more. It may not be a coronavirus, but it will be some other pathogen, particularly those that are trans- transmitted via the respiratory、uh, system. And 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 are easily passed from person to person, and the the lesson is, you know, this is one of the largest threat to global security.、Uh, it's not, you know, it's up there with climate change,、uh, and and and、uh, every nation has to be、uh, well prepared and and be willing to contribute to、uh, to that effort. 所以，正如博士刚才您有提到，台湾这一次的反应可能比起其他国家，在最刚开始稍微快了一点，就是过去曾经有过像 SARS 这样的经验，以至于我们这一次有了 COVID-19 的经验之后，面对下一次不知道从哪突然又冒出来的可能不一样的病毒。可能又造成了一个 pandemic 的时候，我们因为有这一次的经验，或许也会帮助 global wide 全世界大家在共同面对的时候。有了经验，下次可能会做得更好，就对了。There, I, I think in the U.S. we certainly have learned a lot, and and if you look at what the the U.S. government, particularly NIH, the National Health Institute, is doing, we are preparing for pandemic caused by many many different viruses, bacteria, and and other、uh, pathogens. So、um, this is what、uh, What every country with with、uh, technical capabilities should be doing, because this is one of the uh, uh, biggest threat to our、uh, overall health and security. 那就这一波的 pandemic 来说，现在好像已经有呃一些研究单位开始在评估哦，会有第一批可以脱离这一次 pandemic 的国家，还有可能可以脱离的时间。像路透他们就访问了十几间主要的一个研究单位，他们就认为点名了像美国呀、英国、葡萄牙跟印度这几个国家。那主要是因为疫苗接种率蛮高的，然后又有自然免疫力的形成，认为这会是第一批脱离大流行的国家。那不是您的看法，接下来。全球的疫情
到底会走到什么样的阶段开开始趋缓？因为您刚才也有提到，这中间还有我们进入到秋冬这个季节的因素，还有包含其实我们现在在美国 ，even 都已经呃疫苗打了这么多了，但还是有蛮多的确诊的病例在每天都会出现，所以真的就我们可以开始想说，它真的就可以走到整个疫情的尾端了吗？ I think these places you mentioned, like the U.S., Britain, India,、uh, it's true they have been vaccinating、uh, more widely than Taiwan has. But these are also places that suffer a great deal and and endure a great deal of devastation、uh, due to extensive spread of the virus. So there's a there's a the There was a high price already paid, but but that certainly、uh, serve as motivation to get vaccination and and treatment going, and and now as I said earlier, and I I will repeat myself here, but but we we now have the means to convert a disease with high death rate into a disease with low death rate, almost flu like. And and this I think will allow us to adopt a a, a a lifestyle that's closer to normal, and and keep the damage low, uh, and uh, and reopen and return uh, to some semblance of normalcy, and I think that's、uh, what we're all shooting for. This virus won't disappear completely. Uh, it will hang around for years to come,、uh, but I think I think we will be able to manage. I think the outlook for the long term is good because of the available new tools. So, just long term, look, have such a path. 一个历程还是好的、哦，而且真的，我觉得博士在今天访谈当中不断的提醒我们大家不要害怕，因为疫情走到现在这个阶段，科学界的努力之下，已经把这个疫情可能导致的高死亡率以及高重症的状况，现在整个局势是基本上已经完全扭转过来了。那同时还有不断的新的疫苗、新的药物持续都在开发、哦，包含呃在台湾哦，我们民众也会接种的台湾我们自己制的国产高端疫苗。刚才博士也大概有提到一点点哦，那。目前我们高端疫苗已经是获选参加 WHO 的一个团结试验疫苗计划，所以 WHO 就会资助来帮高端进入到接下来的三期试验。不过整体来说，在国际上哦，好像高端疫苗疫苗基本上还没有被这么普遍的认可。那不就不晓得现在在国际上，尤其是在科学界，怎么样来评价台湾国产这一支疫苗，以及在未来高端疫苗真的能够进入到国际市场的可能性？ Yeah, I I have no firsthand experience with the Gaudian vaccine.、Um, I, I have read the paper that's published on the phase two study of the Gaudian vac vaccine,、uh, and I would say that、uh, you know, obviously, with those phase two results, you should move on to a phase three study. I understand that's very difficult to do in Taiwan. Uh, given the low infection rate right now, so it has to be done elsewhere.、Uh, and WHO has、uh, agreed to evaluate that along with many other virus vaccines.、Um, and 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 it's it's not entirely clear how and where.、Uh, so we we need to learn more about those details.、Um, but I I would say that comparing the、uh, report. Of the Zhonghe uh, Kangti uh, uh, neutralizing antibody levels,、uh, I would say that it's not particularly impressive.、Uh, it's probably on par with AstraZeneca.、Uh, so that would suggest to me it's not likely to to have the high protection rate that the mRNA vaccines confer.、Um, I'm a, I'm a little surprised that despite lack of phase three data, the the vaccine is already authorized for emergency use, which is、uh, pretty unusual.、Uh, that would not happen in the U.S. or、uh, Europe or or Japan.、Uh, but but I'm sure that's a decision. That's a hard decision that folks in in Taiwan had to make.、Um, 
I, I would say uh, the, the path ahead is quite difficult uh, to show uh, protection in, in a phase three trial. WHO is comparing so many vaccines. So uh, where are they going to be doing the study? And is it still ethical, as I mentioned earlier, to have a placebo control? Because we already know that we have highly efficacious vaccines and is it ethical to give people placebo? And without placebo, it's really tough to show your vaccine works. Then you have to compare your vaccine to vac other vaccines that have proven efficacy. And then you're comparing it with something good. And therefore, the, the power of the study needs to be greater. And the number of subjects enrolled would have to be larger. That would drive up the costs, uh, take much longer to enroll. Um, and, and all that in the, in the face of uh, available proven products, it's going to be pretty tough. Um, but I would say, based on the data I've seen uh, so far, those who received the Metagen uh, vaccine uh, probably should get a boost uh, with the mRNA vaccine uh, if that's available. 不是刚才非常中肯提出自己的看法哦，跟观察。不刚好我觉得听到一个蛮重要的点，就是说，其实不是也也能够理解，在台湾，这从台湾的角度要开发自己的国产疫苗，在政策上面的困难度，以及为什么必须要这样做。但实际上面对到国际这么这么多的这个平台，都同样的一起在开发，这其实竞争上是非常的激烈。而我们同时也看到，像这一次 COVID-19 的病毒。它必须要全球一起合作，整个国际上一起合作来 fight 这个病毒。所以，就整个国际市场以及跟世界接轨的角度来说，在这一次包含了博士您来观察个台湾国产的高端疫苗在整个研发的过程，还有或者甚至台湾整个在防疫的阶段跟国际上之间合作，您觉得台湾本身哦，在生计医疗相关的面向产业，或是政府在政策面，如果说真的。更希望能够跟世界接轨的话，我们接下来应该要做一些什么样的改变或调整吗 ？Well, I, I know for a fact that Taiwan has tried very hard、yeah. to advance its biotech and pharmaceutical industry.、Uh, Taiwan has the financial resources to do it,、um, but you know, Taiwan is small,、uh, doesn't have the critical mass. Of scientists and and other、uh, researchers in the area, and it doesn't have a long history of a pharmaceutical industry to to build on, and so it's it's very hard. And、uh, I know that many in Taiwan now, for many generations, have tried. Generations of leaders have tried to stimulate this uh, sector uh, uh, without a lot of success. I I must say. Uh, but that's because the challenge is so tough,、uh, and also Taiwan is very good in medicine. It's very strong, but it's not、uh, a world leader in basic research, and and particularly in, in basic medical research. And so、um, it, you know, the biotech and pharmaceutical industry generally、uh, spin out of uh, academic uh, laboratories. And there's just so few of them in Taiwan compared to、uh, places such as the U.S. So it's it's hard, but the government has to keep trying. It has to invest, and I think it has to be bold、uh, in in its investment.、Uh, cannot say that、uh, I'm just going to invest a little bit. I, I think the model for the you know the semiconductor industry is there. Taiwan was very very successful. Is now a world leader. And that's because back then the government was bold, and then there was a large critical mass of people、uh, who were recruited back to Taiwan to launch that industry、uh, so successfully. I think you know、uh, many of us have tried to think about how to do that、uh, with the biotech sector, but so far、uh, nothing has worked very well. But that doesn't mean we we should stop trying.、Uh, and and the other thing I would say is.、Uh, Don't let politics get in the way,、uh, and 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 we have seen again 
Taiwan government supporting uh, certain companies, and then the you know when there's a change in leadership, uh, uh, that company is then trashed, um, and that's like you know ruining your own child, and that's not a formula for success. 真的非常谢谢博士哦，这是从跨海来的观察，给我们非常中肯的建议。那节目的最后，博士刚才不停不停的告诉我们观众朋友，就说不要害怕，不要害怕，我们要学习怎么样跟这个病毒共存，然后恢复到正常的生活。那在最后，除了这方面的建议之外，不晓得博士最后一点点时间，还能不能够再给我们一些其他，就面对我们未来在疫情可能会出现的变化呀？我们应该要怎么样来看待啊？或者给我们一些什么样的鼓励 ？Well, I, I, I think you know, I'm very proud of how Taiwan handled the early part of this pandemic,、um, and and many of my U.S. colleagues、uh, have, you know, given me praises、uh, for Taiwan's effort.、Uh, but I I think we are learning that that.、Uh, Taiwan cannot rest on that. I think it should strive to return to normal. This lockdown、uh, mentality cannot sustain for much longer.、Uh, it, I think, we we all need to return to our normal life, and and we got to figure out a way. And now we have really tools at our disposal, and and now for Taiwan, the issue is how to access the tools, and not only. The tools, but the best ones, because I think the Taiwan people would deserve that.、Uh, you know, I know growing up in Taiwan, my parents did not raise me to be a C student; they wanted me to be an A student. And I think when we go for vaccine and drugs, we should go for the best、uh, and and protect our population the best we can. 非常感谢博士哦，抽空那么宝贵的时间来到我们 TVS 的大师讲堂。我觉得今天跟博士之间对话，真的比较客观的角度哦，来帮我们能够更多的清楚的看到现在我们台湾还能够做什么，我们应该撇出一些什么样的干扰，好好的思考。在接下来很快就要进入到二零二二年了，如果这个病毒不会消失的话，那我们的日子应该要怎么过呢？今天。博士这段话，我相信大家心里头都已经有了答案，大家都可以来好好思考了。谢谢博士，谢谢您，谢谢。